Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Colorado Springs Youth Symphony Association Winter Concert. My name is Kevin Stewart, and I have the privilege of serving as the executive director of the Colorado Springs Youth Symphony. We are so grateful to be able to present this evening's concert. At a time of such incredible uncertainty, we are so pleased to be able to come together and develop our community's young musicians. We thank you, our families, and our supporters for making it possible. We are so grateful for you. This evening's concert is sponsored by Grainer Music. The CSYSA and Grainer Music have had a long-standing partnership, and Grainer Music is a wonderful supporter of the arts in our community. For any of your musical needs, we definitely recommend checking in with Grainer Music. They'll take great care of you, and they're a wonderful organization. While our winter concerts don't normally sound, feature sounds of the holidays, we decided to incorporate a few special pieces in this evening's program, since we weren't able to share them over the holiday season. We hope you'll enjoy hearing them as much as we enjoy performing them. We're excited to get to the music. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage under the direction of conductor Brian Margrave, our first group, the Bravo Winds. Ladies and gentlemen, Bravo's first piece for you is Mighty Might March. Okay, our next piece for you is entitled High Voltage by Randall Standridge. And this piece contains some electronic sound effects that you're going to be hearing from Gavin, one who usually plays bassoon for us today. He's playing an iPad.
Next, we have a piece for you written by a composer from Grand Junction, Colorado, named Walter Cummings. This is Song for the Winter Moon. We'll be finishing our set with Bobsled Run by Lloyd Conley. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, up next, please welcome, under the direction of conductor Debbie Baker, the Pikes Peak Winds. Welcome to the Pikes Peak Winds portion of the concert. We're going to begin our concert with an energetic opener that is Wolverine Summer by Randall Standridge. Our next selection is the Pasacalia by Calvin Custer. It is based off of a bass line that is considered a ground bass, and it may remind you of pieces by Johann Sebastian Bach and Pachelbel.
Our final selection is a medley from Aladdin. It's a lot of fun to play, and we think you'll know all the familiar melodies. And this is arranged by Paul Jennings.
Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our next group under the direction of conductor Aaron Turner, the CSYSA Percussion Ensemble. This is the Percussion Ensemble, and our first piece is going to be Mercury Rising by Nathan Daughtry, and it employs a lot of mallet instruments as well as percussion instruments. We hope you enjoy.
For our final selection, we would like to do Tycho by Scott Harding. We're using conventional uh, Western percussion instruments like bass drum and toms, and then we're trying to resemble the Japanese culture, though, of drumming, which is fascinating. I think you'll enjoy this. Nice and loud. We like it loud as percussionists. So, thanks.
Great job, everyone. A few announcements before our next group. I want to make sure that we recognize a few groups of people that help to support the CSYSA. We have such a wonderful group of volunteers who make everything that we do possible. We would not be able to operate as we do without our volunteers. Thank you, volunteers, for all the time that you put into our organization, our parent managers, all the folks who helped out here at today's events, the concerts, everything that goes on with our fundraising. We can't do it without you. Thank you, volunteers. I also want to make sure that we recognize our board of directors. The Youth Symphony is very fortunate to have a strong group of board of directors who help to govern and guide our organization, ensuring our future success. Thank you, board members. Finally, I want to make sure that we thank all the teachers in our community. This year has been a real challenge for teachers, and I want you all to know how much we appreciate everything that you have done to help make these kids so wonderful in a really challenging year. Teachers, we thank you from the bottoms of our heart. If you haven't had a chance yet to check out our Facebook page, we have some great pictures from today's event. Please log on, just search for CSYSA or Colorado Springs Youth Symphony and you'll find us right away. We have a lot of great photos from today that we want to share with you and we'd be very pleased if you'd like the page and follow us so you can keep up to date on all of our upcoming events and goings on. Finally, I want to talk about uh, a new promotion that we're running for auditions for this coming uh, annual audition in May. Because of COVID-19, uh, we are offering a new promotion that will allow for a 20% discount for any new student who enrolls in our organization, as well as a 20% discount for anybody who refers that student off of tuition. We really need your help this year to go reach out to your friends, your family, family friends, and find folks that would be interested in playing in the Youth Symphony to help us grow our ensembles as we move forward through this challenging year. And we want to thank you for those efforts by giving you a 20% off of your tuition as well as 20% off for the, the new students who sign up with us. So please help us reach out and spread the word about the CSYSA. We're going to keep moving forward no matter what we're facing and we love the support that we get from you all, so thank you so much for doing so. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage our final group for the evening under the direction of conductor Gary Nicholson, the Colorado Springs Youth Symphony. The first selection the Youth Symphony will be performing for you today is a piece that was written in 2016 in celebration of the 90th anniversary of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic. To honor that celebration, the Philharmonic commissioned six different composers to write six brand new works to celebrate the 90th anniversary. The theme of each of the six pieces was to be centered around America the Beautiful, the words for which were written after a visit by Catherine Lee Bates to the summit of Pikes Peak. It has become something of the second national anthem for America. So this piece written by Anthony DiLorenzo makes use of the motif of the familiar melody from America the Beautiful. You will hear that motif scattered throughout the piece. Please enjoy this relatively new piece called Four Spacious Skies by Anthony DiLorenzo.
The next selection that we will play for you is the Overture to Egmont by Ludwig von, von Beethoven. This piece was started in 1809 and finished in 1810, and it was written at the request of the, the famous author uh, Goethe to portray, to write music to portray the story of Count Egmont, who is an actual figure who lived in, in the 1500s in the Low Countries. Uh, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg. Uh, in the 1500s, that area of Europe was controlled by the Spanish, and the Spanish Inquisition was in full force. And Count Egmont stood up against the Inquisition and the persecution of the Protestants who lived in that area. And as a result, he was arrested, tried, and executed. And the story written by Goethe was then set in nine different segments that uh, Beethoven wrote the incidental music for, which is a pretty rare event for Beethoven to be involved in writing for dramatic works like that. The overture takes tunes from those nine movements, which were written for orchestra and, and vocalists, as well as the actual writing of the, of the play. And it's become one of the, <laughs> the world's best known overtures. In fact, a few years ago in Minneapolis, uh, Minneapolis, I'm sorry, Minnesota. In Minnesota, the Minnesota uh, NPR affiliate for the state, NPR, did a poll of the favorite overtures from the residents of Minnesota, and this was the number one favorite for the Minnesotians. The music that Beethoven presents here in the overture is really the beginning of, of a style of writing called programmatic music or writing music to display or portray a, a picture or a story. And you can hear the story of Egmont throughout this music. It starts out with very serious F minor chords and strong, bombastic chords representing the Spanish judges of the Inquisition. And then you hear the melodic, the plaintive, plaintive melody of his wife pleading for mercy and for him to be released to take care of his family. And it has a, this very serious, solemn opening of the judges, the, 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 the seriousness of the Inquisition. And then it goes into uh, a, a nice allegro of three feeling, and it's, it's kind of a dance and 
uh, you can hear uh, the melodies coming through the, of the wife and the pleading. And then towards the end of this melodic era, era the judges come back in with their bum, bum, ba bum, bum, the pounding of the gavels. And they pronounce their sentence, and Count Egmont is executed. And that's represented in the music by a uh, falling uh, interval in the violins. And then we have a very short but plaintive funeral um, prayer done by the woodwinds. And then Goethe asks Beethoven to not end in tragedy, but to create a dramatic triumphant ending, which he did. And it was one of the themes of Beethoven throughout his music that he indicated the movement from darkness to light, from oppression to triumph. So this is our presentation of the story of Count Egmont, the Egmont Overture by Beethoven.
Our next selection is a work from Mexico written by composer Arturo Marquez. It was written in 1994 as part of a series of pieces that he wrote uh, highlighting the, the salon dances, the dances and, and the music of the salons in Mexico. And his Danzón number no. 2, which we will play for you this evening, has become very, very famous. It really portrays the, the melodic intensity, the sensual dances, as well as the energetic and rhythmic dances and music of the dance salons in Mexico. Uh, this features a number of solos uh, throughout the orchestra, and uh, we're pleased to present them with this opportunity to shine, and for the whole orchestra to shine in this wonderful representation of music from Mexico, Danzón Number no. 2 by Marquez.
We have a surprise encore for you today. Since this is our winter concert, and it's still snowing, and we lost our December Holiday Pops concert, where we have a tradition of playing this song, we decided to celebrate the snow that continues to fall on us by playing Sleigh Ride with a little indoor snowfall. Fantastic job, everyone. How about another round of applause for all the musicians who performed so well this evening? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into our performance. Please stay safe and take care.